Hi, this is Jason Filter with the Daily Forex Report for January 4th. Hope everyone had a great new year and is ready to get back into the swing of things. We're looking at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair. I'm expecting this pair to move as high as 93.21 and as low as 89.70. Now, definitely look for some resistance to kick in around 92.75 and look for some support around the 89, I'm sorry, the 91.90 area for that particular, uh, this particular currency. Now, if you notice this pair uh, gap down on the open, the odds are that it will retrace up to uh, this point and look for it to move as high as uh, basically 92.78 during this next session. Now, I'm not taking a trade off that. That's just what I think is definitely going to happen. Uh, I believe that moves a, a kind of a definite. Uh, now, looking at the Euro USD pair, this pair I expect to move between 1.41.11 1 and 1.37.12. Look for some resistance to kick in around 1.40.50 and look for some support around 1.38. 3821. This particular pair also uh, gapped on the open. It gapped up uh, and it looks like it's headed down to retrace that gap. Uh, the odds are that it definitely will. Now what I am looking forward to in this next session, we've talked about this before, it's basically a break and that's not very straight I do realize, but uh, a break below this low. This session's low right here. We are looking for a break below its low and we are looking to take out this session's high which roughly is around a hundred pips worth of movement so I do believe that when we get a break since we've had such strong uh, support in this area uh, that when we get a break of this low and you may want to put it a couple of pips below that low uh, that we will get a run we'll have that window of opportunity there between those two points and the market will just run between them and at that point we can take our profit off the table during that time. Now let's take a look at the pound US dollar pair. This particular pair uh, has also gapped up on the open. Look for it to retrace during the next week. Uh, I am looking for this uh, this particular pair to move uh, as high as 1.4630 and for resistance to show up around that same area and support between 1.4400 uh, look for support there and for our uh, range, the bottom of our range to be there as well. Now switching over to, if you notice real quick, sorry, um, we had an inside bar that was created during the last session. You can definitely look for a break of that. If it breaks to the upside, look for it to tag basically the close here and the high here. Uh, if we break to the downside, that's a whole different ball game. I uh, don't know if we'll do that during this session, but uh, we can definitely take a look at that uh, during the next during the next daily forex report. But uh, you know, I don't I don't believe this is going to happen during this next one. If we do get a break, as you can see, we have some serious support in this area. If we get a break below this low, we could see it move much lower, much faster. So definitely keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at the U.S. Swiss. This pair has been moving sideways for the most part. Uh, it also gapped down on the open and uh, should retrace before the end of the week. It looks like it's, it's starting to retrace now. I am expecting this pair to move as high as 1.0935 and on the downside down to 1.0514. Now look for some resistance around 1.0850 and look for support to kick in around 1.0615 for this particular pair. Um, and that about does it for the charts. Not really looking for anything with this particular pair. Uh, mainly looking at the euro during this next session. Um, you know, this pair may move to the upside. If it does, um, you know, you can look at some of our targets that we have. Uh, but I'm not positive that it's going to continue higher after it retraces its gap. We'll just have to wait and see. Now looking ahead for tomorrow, we have the uh, Euro 
as the German retail sales for November being released. And the consensus on that is that it has uh, improved from negative 1.6% to 0.4% on the monthly time frame. Uh, and year to date that it has improved from negative 1.5% to negative 0.1%. And that's year to date. Both of those are being released at 2 a.m. Eastern Time tomorrow. So kind of early for those that are in, in the U.S., but uh, right in the middle of the day for the, the, those that are in Europe. Um, interesting, interesting thing about this, it should, uh, if these numbers are correct or better than expected, it should definitely help the euro um, you know, regain, regain some of its strength going into this next session. Well, that about does it for today. Until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.